Okay, so welcome to our advanced getting started training. So we're still kind of in the beginning, but we're getting a little bit deeper. And our training objectives today are to help you set up your subscription, to make sure that you have direct deposit, because we want to make sure that you're getting paid, to walk you through the customer conversion, and to show you how to leverage your future orders, to answer any questions that you might have about placement, and then figure out how to help your hive thrive and even get into some customer appreciation. So I'm giving us about 30 minutes for this. And if it takes too long, we don't quite get to everything. Well, then we can we can keep going next week. But I wanted to start with this and we're just going to give this a go. So that's the first thing. So the first, um, well, hold on. We're going to start here with our direct deposit. So I've got to do a new share. And hold on, let's see if I can open it up and then we can see it. Hold on. Hmm, bear with me here. Okay, here we go. All right, so this should look very familiar to you. This is a back office. So this is a person that does not have their subscription set up, but I'm gonna just show you really quickly where it's at. So if you are in your back office, you're going to see your name and all of your good stuff in here. And down here, I say, look for the truck. And that is going to be your subscribe and save. So you would go ahead and click on that. And you would click on add new subscription. And you would go create the whatever it is that you're looking for. Personally, I would recommend focusing on nutrition for your subscription. I do not recommend that you get drops in your subscription because you're already getting them in your four packs and your 10 packs for a little bit cheaper than you can by buying just a single box of drops. So I would recommend picking a superfood, you know, maybe Renew and Limu or Renew and Moa. Um, Renew, you're going to hear that a lot, and some vitamins. But you pick two that work for you to get to 100 PV. And there's some packs that are already built for you. You can search around in here um, and find the different things that you, you know appeal to you. And if you have questions and you're not quite sure what to do, we'll talk to your two by two, to the person that got you started and say, outside of the drops, what two products do you think I should take in order to accelerate my results on these products. So that's what I'd recommend there. Now next, and you would just follow the steps. You're going to add it to your cart and it's going to take you through the checkout process. And it will tell you what color week you are and what color week you need to be. And just make sure those two things match so that you do not miss out on any pay. So that's your subscription. Next is your direct deposit. And so we would go I think I went to the wrong spot. Hold on, just kidding. My money and then partner copay. And then you would go in here and you are going to set up how you get paid. So my money, partner copay, you're gonna click on the little plus sign and you're gonna go down to direct deposit. And if you fill in all of this information, but you leave this little direct deposit percentage of zero, zero percent of your check is going to make it into your checking account. So make sure that you change this to 100 percent and then you fill in your banking banking information. Super important. So make sure you get that. And then you also want to be adding in your um your Social Security number and your tax or your tax ID as you're earning more money, because if you earn over $600, it won't pay you until you have that information. So make sure that you have those two things set up in your account. So I'm going to stop that share. We're going to go back here and we're going to go back to our, our brand partner timeline. So when somebody first gets started, and we already kind of talked about this a little bit, but we want to make sure, and this is our responsibility, so we don't leave anybody behind. Okay, we want to make sure that they are trained on boards and we want to make sure we make that first post to them. And then we're also going to invite them to our groups and all of that. Okay, now once they're moving boxes, we want to train them on the conversion process. 
There's no need to train somebody on conversion if they haven't, they don't have any customers to convert. So move the boxes, train on conversion. And then once they reach gold and ultimate, we're going to show them how to make their subscription. They don't need it before then, right? So help them with their subscription, help them with direct deposit. And we're going to share with them how to leverage volume into their team so they can maximize their pay. And then once they start a team, we're going to help them show how to check volume, figure out placement, all of that. And we're going to go over that today. So we already did that. Um, the first thing that I would love for you all to do as you're getting new people started and going off Brent Palmer's analogy of bonuses and worker bees, I'm talking about our worker bees right here. So we're going to help our hive thrive by making sure that everybody is connected. So when you open up boards, you're going to see a little option that says start here. And I'm going to recommend that you fill this out. But every single person that you enroll, share this with them, text this to them day one, and it's going to give them the link to our team board. It's going to give them the link to Telegram. It's going to give them the link to Partner Conation. So all of those first steps are going to be included, and then it's going to ask them to introduce themselves so we can get to know them, so we know that they're, they're growing and they're thriving, because guess what? Y'all are killing it. You guys are moving so quickly that we're seeing people kind of go, you know, get lost in the shuffle. And we want to stop that as much as possible. We want everybody to get the help they need. So make sure that you're sharing this little guy right here with your brand new people. And then the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is how to know where to place people and it's how you can check what's going on with your team. And the way that we do that is under our volume. And that's going to be where we can really see pretty easily where we need to focus for our placements and what's going on with our team. So we're going to use this, this portion for two reasons. So we find it by going to my money. And then we're going to go to volume. And when we pull that up, it's going to look something like this. Okay, now this is a pretty big business. Yours might look different. You might have two lines. You might have four lines. It doesn't really matter. It's all going to work the same. But what you're going to see is one line is going to be highlighted in red. That is your power line. And that, as you're growing, is going to flip back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as your team is growing until one team you're going to see is just going to take off like a bat and you you'll really that will it will kind of establish itself as your power line but as we're growing you're going to see it flip flop but we'll know where to place by if it shows as our pay line so as you can see over here it's got ip line in the far left the green are our pay lines. So you might only have one, you might have two, you might have four, but the green is where we're going to place. So in this instance, uh, it's very obvious because there's a smaller third line. That's where I'd make my placement. But most of the time they're going to be closer together. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to put it in line 1.1 because that's my pay line. But if it's a 500 PV pack, you'll see that's going to flip it. And next week, this is going to now be my power line, and that will be our pay line. And so just know we want to look. So 1.1 is where I'm going to place somebody today, but tomorrow the answer might be different. So before you make a placement, I'm going to recommend that every time you go to my money, go down to volume and see which line so you know where to go. Now, when you, you want to know who's in line 1.1, you would go back to up here where you go to my business, you'd go to tree view and you can see the people in each of your line and their actual names will show. So you'll be able to see, okay, Mary Jo's in line one. So I want to do at the end of her line. Okay. Now next in our, our volume report, you'll see right here that when I, I can click on these, if, especially if I'm on a computer. I can click on, they're underlined, it's a live link. So I can click on it and I can open up a volume report 
that's going to show me all of these orders and who's placing them. And so when I want to know what's going on in my business, I go look at this and I actually look at this three times a week at the minimum so that I know who is growing and if they're following the system of growth. So how do I know? How do I know? Well, it depends on the number. So if it says 500, then I'm most likely they got a 10 pack of drops. If it says 208, well, then most likely they got a four pack of drops. And I am just going to go and look for the 500s and the 208s because that means that my, my hive is following the system. Now, if I see a bunch of, you know, kind of weird numbers, I'm like 600, now 1,000, most likely they got two. But if I just see, you know, 443, or just a bunch of different numbers that don't, they're not divisible by 500 or 208, I'm going to go look at the details and I'm going to see what they ordered. And I just know that there might be a phone call coming because one of the ways that we can slow down our business is to get distracted by our amazing products and start sharing too much with other people. And we'll watch the team slow down. So that's one of the things that I look at just to make sure that people are following the system. And then I know who to reach out to, to help. So if I see that Whitney Houston here, she just got two 10 packs. So most likely she's running the system of growth and I need to call her and say, congratulations, you're doing great. You know, I would love to support you. When can I come into your hometown and do an event with you? So that's what I use this report for. And the next way that I help my hive is I look at the striking distance report. So as you're growing, you're going to be wanting to get as many people to gold, as many people to ultimate as possible. But if you're moving quickly, you might not see them all. So the way that we see that is we go into our striking distance report. It's gonna pull up a report that looks like this. It's gonna show what their balance is and it's gonna show what week it is. So if they're in week one and they already have a thousand PV, well, then I know that somebody's rocking and rolling very, very quickly. If they're in week four and they have a thousand PV, I know I've got to help them get to ultimate. Okay. So just look at the week and the closer they are to being in week four, the closer I know I've got to make sure that I'm helping them get over the finish line. So what does that look like? phone calls, reaching out to them, and maybe even placing volume if I have volume to place to help them get to ultimate because our ultimate goal is to have a row of ultimates here for everybody that joins us. We wanna make sure that everybody is earning the maximum in our pay plan. So once that, okay, so I've got a team and they're growing. I want to connect with that team. So my personal goal is when I look at that striking distance report, I look at anybody in week three that is not hit ultimate yet, and I'm going to reach out to them and ask how I can support them in that process. So, hey, I see you're super close. Do you see you're just one, you know, one 10 pack away from achieving ultimate and want to see if there's anybody that I can reach out to with you or how your post been going? I'm just going to offer them a little bit of support to make sure that they know that there is a, a, a deadline coming and we don't want them to miss it with some encouragement. Same, anyone that's ultimate, when I look at that and they're already ultimate, maybe I haven't met them. Well, I wanna call them and I wanna congratulate them and I wanna connect with them. And then anyone that's ordering boxes under somebody else, and let me see if I can give you an example of that. Hold on, I'm scrolling back up. Um, okay, here we go. So if anybody's ordering boxes under somebody else, I an example of that, how do we know? Well, <laughs> I love these names, but Kate Bush, her email is Josh Smith. Most likely Josh Smith is somebody else. So that means that Josh is the one that placed this volume under Kate. So when I'm looking at the email addresses, if they don't jive, right, they don't work together. And I'm like, okay, Whitney is probably Whitney. And Aretha is probably Aretha, but Josh is not Kate. Then I want to make sure that I find out who Josh is because that's the person that I want to connect with because they're growing so much that they're leveraging volume under somebody else. 
And then with that, I want to start doing customer appreciation events, drop talks. And you, one of the most powerful things about this is you don't need anybody to come in and do them with you. You can, we want to, we want to support them. But as you're getting started, don't slow down waiting for somebody else to be there because it is so simple. You're going to show the same slide deck that's on boards and you're going to do the same conversation that we do in a conversion. And it's a very quick, easy process. We're just going to do it in your home. So our goal is to help as soon as somebody has moved 15 boxes is to get a drop talk in their town. So that's really it for there, kind of a very brief overview. I'm going to stop my share right there. I'm going to stop the recording.